Well guys, we are back in Florida, and you know what that means. It's time to get back onto the MR2 here. No. Get this thing up and running. Not with that. Where are we at? Um, got the, uh, the fuel cell Florida. mounted right there. We're in Florida. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we got the fuel cell mounted. Uh, working on the water box. This one, just getting the tabs made up for it. So those will go on there. Mount on just like this one does. Just a couple of little tabs with some rib nuts in there. So that it'll be easy to take it in and out and uh, shouldn't go anywhere. So yeah, I'm getting that one done, get the water box on here and start getting them plumbed. Then we can start running some lines, get our fittings done. And yeah, yeah, get everything ran to the freaking mechanical pump and the intercooler and all that stuff too. And we can start so. finishing up everything on the nose here. Yeah. Then get back to the engine bay. And I'm waiting on a bandsaw blade to come in because getting ready to start on the exhaust. We have these pretty thick uh, scheduled bends right here that I'm going to be making the exhaust out of. I got the V-band on there, kind of seeing how we're going to run it. I think I'm going to snake it over and then, you know, whoop, out the back like we talked about. It would be very easy to do, you know, in good old Boosted Boys fashion to just do that <laughs> and go right out the hood. Stack. But uh, we're going to keep it out of the back and uh, keep it all legit. Um, we are also waiting on a wastegate. We might actually go a different route on the gate. I have not yet got the word back on that. But we might be trying something new with the wastegate that would be really cool if we go that route. Something this channel has never seen, and it's not CO2. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> see about that one, because we were going to run a CO2 wastegate controlled by the fuel tech. We still might go that route. I'm not saying we're 100% not doing that, but we might try something else that's really cool. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, I'm really excited because today's video is actually going to be focused about WAGO. Yes. Because we got new wheels and tires over there. Dude, I'm pumped. It's gonna look sweet. I am so excited for this. Yes. All right, here you go. Let's just get into it. Yeah, let's just show the people. Let's just show them what we got. Oh, hold on, I left my razor blade over there. Rookie. Where's my bubble wrap? Where <laughs> is it? <laughs> All right, boys. So, we have our new wheels and tires for Wago right here. What you looking at? Um, I'm hearing noises. I thought there was another dragonfly stuck uh, in the light. I think that's just the roof creaking from the heat. creaking because it's hot. <laughs> yep. We're also working on getting an AC installed in the shop here because I don't know if we're going to be able to bear yeah. the summer heat. Hot boy summer. <laughs> we'll see. We're working on that. So that should be coming up soon. But uh, let's just start with the tires real quick because yes, let's just do that. That's a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. So in a video a while back, I briefly unboxed what was in here and kind of showed this banner and you guys saw it and you guessed it. We are indeed getting hooked up with some stuff from our boys over at Nitto. That Yay. banner, baby. Look at that thing. We got a ton of banners. We need to hang these all up. I know, we need to hang our banners. Look at that. Heck yeah. I love banners. Yes. Even though we don't hang them often, I do love banners once they do go up. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, like kind of on board with Nitto right now, so that's really cool. We got our first set of tires from them for Wago to try out. And these aren't the exact final size I'm going to be running. We're actually gonna downsize it some, but these are what they had in stock and we're going to uh, see if these will fit on there. It should be okay. We took some measurements and then we think we can tuck them under there. We might just have to lift Wago up a little more than usual to run these, but these are some 215, 4517 Nitto Neo Gen tires. And those are going to be going on our brand new wheels right here. And then real quick, I'll show in the box. They sent us a whole bunch of goodies, you know. Oh, yeah, Dan, you'll hook it up, dude. Some lanyards, some some catalogs, magazines. Let me get one of them stickers. Ooh, rowdy. You Oof. know what they should put on there? The rowdy. Rowdy. What do we gotta uh, do to get the rowdy on a <laughs> magazine cover? That would be sweet. That would be cool. But yeah, they looked it up with a whole bunch of stuff. Some hoodie shirts, Damn, you know. Liam got fat boy shirts in there for me. Yep, we got it all, Suck. baby. <laughs> so, nice little care package from them. And uh, let's get to the good stuff here. We got some wheels from 1552. So, these are the same wheels that Ken Block used to run, not anymore because he moved on to like rotiform, but these were really cool and they are still really cool. I was going to get the Turbo Max, but they were discontinued in 4x100, so I was pretty bummed about that, but uh, these look very, very nice as well. So I reached out to them, they actually gave me a little bit of a discount on these, so I'm really excited about that. And we are running some rally style wheels on Wago here. We are no longer going back to the, uh, the stance slammed look on Wago, I used to have some XXRs on it, and they were all cambered out before I wrecked it. And uh, I didn't like that because it would scrape everywhere. And I don't know, wasn't comfortable. So we're going to go to a little bit of a bigger wheel here. 
the ride height's going to come up some on Wagyo, and I think these are going to look pretty clean. I'm really excited to check these out. I was very picky about wheels. Wagyo's been painted for how long now? And I haven't ordered wheels. Right. Because I could not decide which ones to get, and finding some in the right size and bolt pattern, it's tough. But these are 17 by 7 and a half, 4 by 100. Some big old wheels. Oh yeah, these are fresh. 15.52. Wee! Dang. Check that out, dude. dude. Those are fresh. So these are the 15.52 podiums. I believe they just came out with these. So what a unit. 17 by seven and a half, like I said, and we're gonna get these nittos mounted on there hopefully today and get these things mounted up on Wago and get it off these GSR blades here and get her looking fresh. That is fancy. It covers Dang, up the dude, lugs these and are everything. Spindle mount, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would be they just tight, look though. like it, but they're not. How's this work? Oh. Ooh. That's all metal too. Big fancy. That's nice, so bolts nice. on right there. That covers up the lugs. Shoot. That's big fancy dude. Should be Some going clean wheels on the clean car. You're gonna look real nice. Oh yeah, dude. Freaking pump. Sweet. You're gonna look badass. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these over and get them mounted up. Get these suckers on Wago. Don't drop it. <laughs> oh, we're good. Yeah, I think that's gonna look so good. Yeah. Lift it up just a little bit. Yeah, Make hopefully it all tucks under there pretty good because these are like a 42 offset and they're pretty wide for for a wagon, but you know, I think we'll We'll manage. Heck yeah. Don't know until we get the tires mounted up. Are these going to be stretched on there a little bit? No, these are just normal. These are actually fit. made for the wheel. Fit like a safe, responsible mm -hmm. young adult. Yep, you can take corners and you don't have to worry about the bead popping oh off. My goodness. Being all stanced out. <laughs> Huge thanks to Nitto and uh, 1552 for the, the little discount they gave me. Sweet. Appreciate Let's get it. this thing on there. I want to see I can almost say I'm like sponsored like Ken Block was, you know? Oh, I got a little discount. Okay. Um, we're going to. We're gonna go. <laughs> Got the tires all mounted up on our new wheels. Time to take these back to the house and get them mounted up on Wago. I'm excited to see how they fit and look. Dang, dude, that looks so freaking good. The front needs to come up a hair. Why it's over there, saws on away. Has his earbuds in so he can't hear, but dude, that looks so freaking good, guys. I was worried that these tires were a little too thick, too much sidewall, and that is definitely gonna rub right there. I gotta lift it up some right here. Maybe roll the inside of the fenders just a touch, but I think I'm just gonna lift Wago up for the meantime. And like I said, eventually we're gonna drop it down to a 205.40. Those are a 215.45, but even those fit pretty good. Look at that. That looks so good, guys. Wago is pimping now. It's exactly what I wanted. No poke, just nice and flush fitment. <laughs> Stop. Cutting. Quit filming, cutting. <laughs> I don't think the backs hit at all. No, the backs are fine. Yeah, I'd run the backs. The backs Put perfect. The back, just a touch and man, it'll be flossing. Yep, this just barely needs to come out. Where the center caps at? I don't want to see them on there. The center caps? Yeah. They're in the truck. I'll go grab them here in a second. That looks sweet, dude. We forgot to mention that you buzzed all your hair off. I didn't buzz it. Freaking Ryan <laughs> buzzed it, dude. <laughs> We got all bald, drunk. Look like a bald old man now. <laughs> we got all drunk one night. I think it was Saturday last weekend, and he's like, "Bro, I'll cut your hair." I was like, "Sure, let's do it." I was like, "I want it a little long on top, a little trimmed up on the sides." And what's he do? Just like a one everywhere. I'm like, "Cool, dude." You got that cut a little short there. A little short. But well, looks like you could use some keeps right there. I know, man. Freaking fill in this hair. This video is not sponsored by keeps, but next Maybe time it we'll, should be. We'll get you some right there for real. Dude, I am so pumped on that. They look so good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side on real quick, and then I'll go grab those center caps. Get it done. We so gotta you, pull we her go out. Cruise it. You can go buy me some dinner. And some it. some Taco Bell. Go buy me some Taco Bell <laughs> and your fresh whip. <laughs> 
Dude. Yeah, it looks freaking awesome. It's so photogenic in the, on the camera right now. Oh, I'm sure. Just look at Wago, guys. All four wheels are on the car and it looks so freaking good. I am so pumped on how these came out. I do have to get some different lug nuts because as you can see right here, we have a little gap on the center cap right there. And that is because the lug nuts that are on there are barely too long. They have this extra cap that we don't really need. So I need some like open ended lug nuts. So then this will sit flush because if you look right in there, the bottom of that's just barely hitting that bump on the top of the lug nuts here. So we'll get some open end lugs and then those should go on flush and we will be good to go there. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Ah, got him. Pretty nice car you got there. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, is it, is it fast? It's not too bad. She scoots yeah. pretty good. What kind of horsepower you get out of these little three, four cylinders? Oh, that's four cylinders. Wow. She's made almost 500 before. No kidding. Wow. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat, man. You know, back in my day, you know, carburetors, they're the fastest thing around, so. Yeah, All that's. New technology. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, they, I don't know, this, this fuel injection stuff's come pretty far. Yeah, I'll stick with my carburetors. They're, yeah, they're just better. They're just better. But, you know, that's cool, nonetheless. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. It is raining a little bit outside right now, but I just had to pull Wago out of the shop and take a look at this thing out in the sunlight, and it looks so freaking good, guys. So happy with how Wago came out, cannot stress that enough, and I'm just glad to see this thing finally got all the attention and TLC it needed to the exterior of the car. There's still some stuff on the interior that needs addressed. Uh, the driver's seat has a pretty good tear in it, and I wanna get some of the interior pieces back in that it's missing. It doesn't have the glove box in it and some other little things like that. But other than that, the outside of the car is pretty much exactly how I envisioned it. It looks awesome. I might do something later on with the front bumper maybe like add a lip to the front and rear maybe some different side skirts just to kind of make it look a little more low and aggressive but other than that the outside of the car and just the overall look of it is perfect right now it looks so freaking good the nittos fit really good under there i actually really like that tire size i don't think we're gonna have too much clearance issues once i give this side a little bit more camber it is closer on this side and it was rubbing a little bit but this side actually had a touch more camber on the adjustment that one is all the way maxed on a uh, positive camber so we can still add some negative camber to that one this one doesn't even rub on the inside of the fender at all because it has some uh camber added so the fitment is actually really really good super happy with that guys man it looks so awesome bought this car what five six years ago for eight hundred dollars i literally bought it as a daily because i was working on my hatch never planned on doing anything to this car and then you know once the channel started it was one of the first cars on the channel to get a turbo kit straight from ebay and i started turboing this thing along with charlie's wagon and the channel kind of took off from there it's been history ever since so it was awesome to see her all put back together and we just rolled over a million subscribers freaking awesome who would have thought a little $800 Civic could uh, make someone so, so happy. I love this car. Damn, this was made three years ago. Boosted Boys theme song. Pull it up. It was first run of the day. We have Kyle with the Boosted Boys. Oh yeah, everybody pay attention to this one. This one's going to be good. <laughs> I thought you were going to play the intro <laughs> song. Uh-uh. Uh the Boosted Boy theme, dude. We still got the sub, dude. I need to turn it up more. We need to make some raps like this. <laughs> Way, way. <laughs> MR2 be dumping, Wago be bumping. <laughs> yeah, there have been some good days of bumping in the street. Yeah. Just bobbing out to places. We used to be blasted. <laughs> I thought the windows were going to fall out. Bro, she's like, she's car show ready almost. Back to Mercedes, glory, dude.
which ain't no sound competition car, but you know, rattles my ears good enough for me. Got that frog up there? That. Has to be. Let's see, he's croaking. No, he's higher. He might be on the outside. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he ain't higher no more. Our fuel cell and water box are just about mounted up here on the nose of the MR2. So once we fully weld the tabs that uh, Wyatt made to mount them yes. to the weight plate there, we'll be able to bolt those solid in place and then we can start running our lines and getting all of our fittings plumbed into our two tanks right here. And he was cutting on the bumper a little bit more to make some extra room because it was hitting just a little bit. But now she clears pretty good. Yeah, it clears great actually. So that's how we are looking with the bumper on. It's really good. We're gonna make a piece to cover up this hole right here because we no longer need that. So we'll just rivet something on right there to take place of that. And then we have plenty of access to our water box right here and to the five gallon fuel cell. Yep, plenty of room. Yep, we will be able to fill it easily and everything. So yep, that'll go right in. And then this is the only mounting point we were talking about that we need to make something to go to that guy. Honestly, it's pretty stout how it is. I bet if we put everything in, it would probably hold probably on. But we're gonna make a piece that either like bolts into these two existing holes or just weld it straight, kind of do a little tubular deal, come up in here, back down, like almost like a little triangle right there. Another thing That'll I was tie also in. thinking is we could also do it to the weight plate. I know it doesn't really matter, but we could always just could take just a little rod straight up to it. Yeah, that would work too. I was just, I was there. thinking of the aesthetics. The aesthetics. You know, a nice little triangle would right. look good as long as it's not in the way of any of this stuff. Like a little wire frame deal. Yeah. Pretty nice. But but either way, we'll get that sorted, and yeah. it's looking pretty good. You guys are going to have to wait and see what I just ordered for this thing, but she's also going to get quite a bit lighter here very soon oh, as well. Uh, spent the big dough. Yeah, those uh, <laughs> ads we do for keeps, they helped on this one. So <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they, they helped they us get lighter. Clutch. <laughs> Let's just say we got like probably 80 pounds worth of weight savings coming for this thing, and it's a big deal. Yeah, probably a minimum of 80. 80 to 100 is my guess. So, we got some stuff coming. Yeah. Came all the way from Japan. Overnighted my parts from Japan. So, <laughs> that's going to be really sweet once yeah. we get I'm looking forward to it. We're going to have all the visually pleasing parts. They will look sweet. And they will be functional. And they will be functional and lightweight. She's going to be going on a serious diet here. Yes. Something I should do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boys, that is going to about do it for tonight. We made some progress on the MR2 today. We're hoping to have this thing fired up within the next week or two would be the goal. I have a lot of stuff I need to get fabricated, like the exhaust, intercooler piping, and all that good stuff inside of the engine bay. And I'm going to be working on that here very soon, but I've been preoccupied the last couple days ever since I got back from Florida and even a little bit while I was in Colorado. I've been working on a million subscriber special video for you guys. I have so much footage to go through, but it is coming out pretty good, I think. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I'm not sure when it will be released just yet. Maybe by tomorrow night, if you guys are watching this right now, it is Friday night. So I'm going to be editing this video right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new wheels on Wago. I am absolutely in love with this setup and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it as well. That's gonna do it for right now. I'm getting back on the million sub special video knocking this one out first, and then, uh, yeah. Got a lot to do, boys, but stay tuned, and we will see you in the next one. After this, you should do, <laughs> do that. Good. Yep. Hold your arm out and like point like you're pointing at this front tire. We got the YouTuber pose and look. What it, pose, point, and look. Pose, point, and look. Am I am I pointing at the tire? No, you're just pointing at the exhaust. Where where do you want me to be pointing? You know? I don't know. Just the engine bay? Yeah, just don't point. Oh, this coil's coming out, dude. I was pointing at the problem. <laughs> I'm pointing at the problem. This whole picture. <laughs> That's messed up, bro. <laughs> sure, it looks alright. Does it look good enough? I mean, yeah, it's fine. Does it, 
you just a problem. you're not pointing at anything. You're just kind of, you know. <laughs> it looks just better without me, probably. Throw him the shocker, bud. Perfect. <laughs> problem solved.